posing, posing. Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys have been liking these colorful looks because I have another one for you. Something glittery, something colorful, and something blue. It sounds like kind of like those bridal things. But anyways, I have another colorful smoky eye. I hope you guys have been enjoying these colorful glittery looks. I just wanted to throw you guys a couple of looks before the new year, whether it be for a party, a club, a date, tricking, picking up the kids, anywhere you go for any event, any occasion, here are some ideas. But today I do have, you like my nails? You like my nails? My nails are holiday inspired, yes, Christmas inspired. I will get to the polish in a second. But yes, I am wearing a blue halo glittery eye. I hope you guys enjoy this. It is full coverage, it is highlighted, it is glam. My skin looks smooth today. Don't it look smooth? Yes, yeah, so I'm wearing another glittery look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. My nail polish. I have been getting so many questions on my nail polish. My nail polish is called Curiosity by Formula X, and I got it in this bottle that I got for Christmas. No, I do not drink, but this is bottle service. Isn't this the cutest thing you can get it at Sephora? And I'm wearing this color. This one is for my mom. I have another one. But this one is called Curiosity. I have been loving Formula X. Check them out. Bottle service, 10 polishes. Don't be afraid to wear makeup. This is the time of year to explore and have fun with your fashion, with your makeup, and just celebrate the new year. Treat yourself. <laughs> if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see next in my video. And have a happy new year, and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, guys, first things first, I'm going to moisturize the lips with this EOS lip balm because our lips will be extra crusty and extra dry, so make sure you moisturize them. Next, I always shave. I have yet to laser my face. I don't think I ever will because I just don't want to. That's a personal preference. Anyways, I'm going to take my Nivea aftershave balm in the sensitive kind. I think there's only one kind anyways. And I'm going to put this all over my face and rub it in. Boy, I try to catch myself, but I'm not in control. You guys like my Beyonce shirt? Next, I'm going to fill in my pores with this Benefit Porefessional Primer. It is amazing. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, come through. Come through silicone. Come through smooth skin. So assuming y'all will be using this look for a very special occasion, I'm gonna take my special occasion foundation. This is the Dior Air Flash. It is amazing. I'm in the color 500. It is very expensive, but I will be doing a review on foundation soon. And I'm going to blend it out with a duo fiber brush. All right guys, so moving on to the highlight and concealer part. It's a two-in-one for me, and I'm going to beat a face, so I'm gonna take my MAC Full Coverage Foundation in the color NC20. This is like a concealer. It is very cakey, and it's very creamy, and it's amazing for a beat face. And I'm gonna take my Morphe E57 brush and apply this as my highlight. This is part of the new Elite Collection. This is an amazing brush. It's short, dense, and it's flat and I'm going to highlight the face like so. If you guys haven't seen my highlight and contour video, when I talk about highlighting and contouring, I am not going to take my highlight all the way back because it's gonna make my face look wider. So I'm just gonna concentrate this, like looking straight at the camera, I'm gonna concentrate my highlight just right here. Because if I bring it any farther back, it will make my face actually look wider than it is. So I'm just gonna concentrate it right here. But if it does flatter your face, by all means, go ahead and bring it all the way back. So being part of the plus size committee, I'm only gonna concentrate my highlight right here because I wanna look part of the skinty committee, okay? Next, I'm going to take my favorite Morphe brush ever. This is like a beauty blender on a stick. It is the G2 brush by Morphe from the Gun Metal Collection. I'm just gonna buff everything out. Next, I'm gonna set the center of my face, like the under eye, the nose, the forehead, upper lip, and chin with my Laura Mercier and air spun on the rest of my face. The reason why I only use this on the center of the face because, girl, this is way too expensive to be wasted on the rest, but air spun works just as great. Oh, my contacts, I forgot to put on my contacts. So now, moving on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna beat my face with my trusty and inexpensive air spot. It's not cheap because you don't want to say cheap because cheap is not the right word. It's inexpensive. I'm trying to look cheap, okay? I'm trying to look expensive. I'm trying to look, what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to look cute. Uh, no Beyonce. 
Alright you guys, so I put a little bit of extra air spot underneath the eye. I have been getting so many questions on how do you get your face to not look cakey. As you guys can tell, I press in all the products into my face. If you are a, a dry skin type, patting powder on top of dry skin, on top of cream, will probably not work for you and it will probably look a little bit too cakey, but I am oily, I am very porous on my skin, so this technique does work for my type of skin. And then I knock this all off with another powder foundation. That's just my explanation for you. Just press it in, blend it in, and just buff everything out. All right guys, so moving on to the eyes. I know I have a shit ton of powder all over my face, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Sasha Compact Powder in the color Buttercup. I know they have two versions of powder. They have like a banana, Ben Nye looking color powder, and they also have the Sasha Compact Powder. I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so they have this one, which is great for women of color. Just wanted to let you guys know if you guys want to wear this for New Year's, for those of you that are in a darker complexion, this is amazing for setting. But I'm gonna take this one, which is the Sasha Compact Powder, and I'm gonna use this as a setting powder for my eyelid and also to highlight the brow. You can see it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna take this on my E40 brush and just highlight my brow bone. Yes. Oh, and I have a lot of powder on my face because I want to catch all the fallout. Yes, you can do your eyes before. I just prefer to do my face before. It's just what I do and what I prefer and what I like. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take the Morphe 35K palette for this look. I'm gonna take these top two shades right here and use this as my transition color for my crease. Next, I'm gonna take the black in the 35K palette with my Morphe M5 03 brush and contour the eye on the outer third and inner third of the eye very lightly easier to add than take away this brush is amazing for getting right in the eye crack of the eye just want to get it up in there just wiggle it in the butt crack of the eye yes blend until your hand falls away I know I look crazy, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Good thing I put a lot of powder underneath my eye. This look is very similar to my purple halo eye, but I just wanted to do a fierce blue one. So like the other tutorial, I'm gonna take my ColourPop pencil, the gel pencil. It is super inexpensive. This is in the color B Stain by ColourPop. Amazing color. I'm just gonna put this right here just very loosely as a base, and I'm just gonna blend it with a loose brush. I'm barely touching my eye, and it's already going on so pigmented. So that's that. Next, for the start of the show, I'm gonna take Anastasia's new foiled shadow Prussian Blue, and I'm gonna pat this all over the center of the lid with a flat brush. I'm going to take this metallic silver gray right next to the black and transition the blue. That way there's a smoother transition, and it looks cute. Yes, Starry Night, come through, Starry Night. Starry, starry night. Who knows that song? It's a song, right? Do you see this harsh line? We're gonna take it out with Coco Barrett. It does not belong here. Like Latavia and Destiny's Child, you do not belong here. Bye, Latavia. If I see a harsh line on your lid, I'm gonna call her Latavia. Latavia, what are you doing here? <laughs> Come through, you see how the blue is just coming through? Oh, my nails. Do you see how the blue is just coming through? That's what we want. Okay guys, I'm gonna kick it old school. I found this old NYX glitter, and I don't know if they make this, but I'm gonna use the model in a bottle. Facial setting spray, and I'm gonna spritz my brush and apply some glitter on the very center of my lid. My liner is finally on, yes God, I said my prayer and it came out fleek. But next, I'm gonna tight line my waterline using my favorite pencil by color pop in the title swerve it's such a memorable name swerve let's so let's swerve this liner swerve all right to smoke my lower lash in, i'm gonna take makeup geeks coco bear and anastasia's red earth with a flat top brush by morphe and just smoke out the bottom since Swerve by ColourPop is a gel liner, I'm just gonna take the shadow and push it in just to set it first and then blend it out. I'm gonna take my Shoe E More Lash Curler, which is my favorite freaking mascara curler ever, and just curl my lashes. Next, I'm gonna take my Roller Lash Mascara and curl my lashes up to Jesus. I'm gonna apply my two sets of falsies that I put together. I believe they're just random sets. I believe one is Kuwait from Lily Galici, and then another pair is Art Gel. Stack your lashes, it'll change your life. And for those of you that are wondering, I like using this lash glue, this one by Duo. It looks like an eyeliner. 
not the one in the squeezy tube. I will use that glue as a last resort. I just find this one to stick better. Here is a glam tip. I do this all the time. I have never explained it really, but this is a foundation powder. You can use Studio Fix by MAC. This is Makeup Forever's Pro Finish Powder. There are ones by CoverGirl L'Oreal. If you find in the foundation section a foundation powder, put it on top of your liquid foundation, on top of your airspun for a full coverage effect. If you're satisfied with your liquid coverage and your concealer and the translucent powder and like a light medium coverage powder, then that's fine. But if you want a full beat face, then go for a foundation powder. This one is the Pro Finish by Makeup Forever and I'm in the color 170. And this is what makes me look extra beat. And you see I'm taking it with a Morphe G0 brush and I'm just buffing it in. And this may be a lot of makeup for some of you, but for those of you that want a full glam, then this is it. And just keep practicing because you'll get it, I promise. All right, next to bronze the face, I'm gonna take a light coverage powder. This is a mineral powder by MAC in the color Dark Deep and I'm gonna take this on my Morphe M527 brush and bronze and contour the face slowly but surely. You don't wanna go overboard. I love this brush, the M527, it's cute. Want to cut that double chin, you know, because they're not welcome like Latavia. We'll call this one Michelle. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> so next, I'm going to take my new Morphe E53 brush. This is like a fluffy, pretty, tapered brush. It's a little bit smaller than my blush brush. This is my blush brush. This is the E3, and this is the E53. It's a little bit more tapered, and it's smaller, but it's perfect for highlighting. Now I'm going to highlight with my Sasha Cosmetic Buttercup Powder. It has like a nice, like, brightening effect. So next, I'm going to snatch my nose using Dark Deep by MAC and my e.l.f. fan brush. I cannot live without this. Next, I'm gonna take this powder blush by Sasha called Barely Plum and apply this on my cheeks. Yes, Barely Plum. Next, I'm gonna take Cappuccino Chiller blush by Sasha as well and then I'm gonna use it as a highlighter because it's very gold. All right, now for the lips, I'm gonna take my favorite whirl and overdraw my lips, which is y'all's favorite and mine, and I'm gonna pick a new lip color. But first off, let's whirl. So for the lips, I'm going to take this new Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the color Bashful because you know I'm bashful too. Oh, so pretty. Okay, last but not least for the eyebrows, I'm gonna take this It Cosmetic Super Skinny Brow Power pencil and I'm just gonna apply this through my brow and it's in the color universal dark brown all right y'all last but not least I was in the New Year's spirit I thought the blue was not enough of course me so I'm gonna take this 3d chunky silver glitter from Mac I don't know if they still sell it but it's a chunky um, 3d reflex silver and then I'm gonna take this I think it's called 3d platinum and I'm gonna take my lit cosmetics adhesive and apply this on the inner corner of my eye now that says New Year's to me <laughs> And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this New Year's tutorial. Have fun with it. This is the time to play with color, to play with glitter, to play with clothes. I'm wearing like a little fur, faux fur jacket that I got from Macy's. I hope you guys enjoy it. Try it out. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Have a safe New Year. Hello. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Good? That's cut up alright. Woohoo! Baby da -da. Da -da. <laughs> Sound check. Can you probably me that lip balm over there? This is gonna be voiceover? No. Uh, they like to the talk throughs. They like them when I talk. Alright, y'all. Y'all asked for this New Year's tutorial. It's you guys. Shut up, Patrick. You are so dumb. You brush and um, contour. Give it to me. I'm worth it. Hey, uh huh. I'm worth it. Hey. Looks good to me. A lovely night, a lovely night. Okay, we need a pack. Bye, Latavia. I found the glitter. <laughs> I feel like that's all you've been doing these past few months. What? That's it. Like, we've been doing glitter. Sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, it's New Year's. So, no, what I mean, like. No, no, no like, sweetie, sweetheart, sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, it's New Year's. Like, everyone wants to work glitter. No, it's like the summer since I came back. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know, I know. That's what it's about. It's New Year, New Me, New Glitter. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. 
Let's put some blue in it. <laughs> Everyone's always like, who's behind the camera? It's me. It's Adele. <laughs> no, Beyonce, you're dirty. No, no, no. I'm gonna take my shoe in here. Ooh. 